from my perspective, it was important to stand here with the people of Wicklow Town and surrounding areas. And really, in all honesty, uh, they proved here today that they are a current society. But the reality, this was uh, uh, to do with the Grand Hotel, Wicklow Town, and the change that's been implemented here in the last few weeks without any prior consultation with any elected members, with any of our schools, our, our local doctors, uh, just consulted nobody. And as we all know, there's been families here who've been moved out at two days short notice and they've been scattered to the four corners of Ireland. And these were families who had children, you know, really ingrained in our community over the last four years. They're in the local sports clubs, they're, they're in our schools, the education system, they're registered with doctors, some of them are in employment because they're allowed to go into employment after six months. And the reality to change that policy, what seemed really in the dark of night, you know, you've got a couple of hundred uh, males being ferried in here on, on buses in the dark of night. Uh, no prior consultation, families going the opposite way. This group work really, really hard to try and ensure that um, the issues were being heard, and there, but they were being labelled and that was very, very unfair. Because unless you had been to that meeting and heard their genuine concerns, I would have been confused as well, which is the reason why I think you have to go and see for yourself. Uh, this town has always welcomed everybody, irrespective of their nationality, their gender, their religion. Um, well, it's got to a stage where completely here, uh, completely kept in the dark. And I just felt that, you know, people who should have known better, if they didn't want to partake in the in the protest march, they didn't have to, but the truth is, why why put a narrative on it that if you, if you did stand here and you're asking questions, you're trying to support the people in the Grand Hotel, the families who were there, um, that's a racist. It doesn't make any sense. People have to be listened to. Their opinions count. And I'm, I just hope that this leads to dialogue um, with, can, with other parties, such as government and minister, ministers and IPAS, to try and get to the root of problems and to try and, and come up with solutions that everybody can live with.